Tune in, subscribe, and comment. I will contact you via your community or discussions tab as selected. Spam in the chat will result in disqualification. Okay, so right now we're looking at what I've done is I've normalized the temperatures in the PC to like where it's an average temperature overall. We're looking at right now two drives and the price is currently 329 2021 so the 980 Pro, I actually just bought one for about 279 a couple of days ago. It's dropped down to 249 on the two terabyte. That's one we're going to cover. And on the plus, it's 229, 329. I mean, so it's uh, it's not much of a price difference, 20 bucks. So I would go for the Pro automatically. But let's also show you why you want to go for the Pro right now, and that is something that'll be helpful for you guys all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rebench this right now like i said the amb ambient room temperature is 72 degrees in my house it might be a tiny bit cooler right here where i'm at in the office but it's got to be pretty close to it and one of the things i've ran 950s 960s 970s all pros and the only non-pros i've had has been the 970 Evo plus two terabytes. And to tell you the truth, those both cost me almost $400 each. I think one almost 450 at the time. And um, one of the things I've noticed with the two terabytes is they run hot. And I did look up to see if it was an issue. And even though Samsung's tool says it is too hot, um, it's still within specs and it's still, still fairly far off from I think what the temperatures were I think their their max was 75 C I think it might have been 70 C I think that I haven't seen over 63 or 64 and that's usually when I'm transferring a lot of data for a while like 12 minutes worth of data or something like that one of the things um, I've noticed so I've had the pro a couple days now and the pro is on my my main drive and the other Samsung 970 I have in the system right now, it is at my backup drive. Um, I've been running two 970 with two terabytes, and I noticed one thing is usually my main drive is always hotter than my backup drive, which makes sense. Um, it's being accessed and used more. One of the things though is also that um, when gaming, because of where these things are mounted, which is on the motherboard flush behind a chunk of metal basically below the graphics card is that they do heat up when gaming um when i go into gaming which i'm going to run this test so you guys can see what the difference is is it, it might be if you're going to be concerned about oh my samurai what dude no not right now go away no what is your deal cat it's not time to eat breakfast no um so 45c i mean that's that's awesome versus what i've been seeing with the uh the evos and um one of the things is probably the 980 pro it's designed to run in pci 4.0 you're seeing pci 3.0 i'm on an intel setup until i get a comet lake processor or is it rocket lake rocket lake processor I can't run it at 4.0. Um, I'm probably going to skip the Rocket Lake because we're looking at losing a couple of cores, a few threads, and the same. We're looking at the same um, clocks. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a good deal or worthwhile. Plus, I hear Intel has another chip that they were going to release in a quarter after that or next quarter, which would be really soon. But I just thought I saw some information that they might actually push it out to longer than that i don't know but um i really don't want to lose cores for the same speed over just a small improvement and uh, who knows we'll we'll see when they get released actually tomorrow we should see what those numbers are doing i mean they're gonna have to be an amazing numbers plus on new egg they were sold out of the right away of the pre-orders and they were hitting over six hundred dollars so that's kind of it's like hmm is it is it really going to be worth it probably not 
what I'm going to do, once this is done, I'm going to run heaven for a few minutes, probably about three, four minutes to heat it up because it'll be like gaming. I mean, when I'm gaming, um, personally, my gaming, not doing benchmarks, uh, my settings or I'm at 1080p, the temperature of the graphics card is not going to be like if I benchmark heaven um, on extreme settings. So, but it'll be, you know, so three or four minutes should be equivalent of gaming for 20 to 40 minutes on the temperatures. One thing I noticed with the 980 Pro 2 is you do have uh, secure encryption features where you don't have it with the Evo, but okay, so it's done. Now we gotta do is we just gotta refresh it. So you can see right here, 50C. So, I mean, but you can see right here, 59, it's almost 10C. And to tell you the truth, I, I did this earlier, right before I did this, and it was exactly 10C before. But, I mean, that's 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 a huge difference on temperature. And probably one of the reasons, too, is they've improved the temperatures on the 980 is it, it, if it's going to run, and, you know, PCI 4.0, it's going to run pretty much, what, at double the speeds? This is what I'm seeing on some of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You can see the numbers when they're both running in a PCI 3.0 that they're, they're fairly close overall. So let's go ahead and run heaven. We'll run this for about three minutes. So you can just kind of tap forward if you want to go past it. Or if you want verification, you can stare at this for three minutes to see that it heated up the system but okay so that should heat up the system like if you're gaming pretty good and uh, to show you how the temperatures can just get stacked up pretty good. So we'll go ahead and we'll go back. And, and this basically, we'll just bench it again. I mean, you got to figure if you're you got a high-end graphics card, this is a 3080 right here. Pretty much any probably graphics card that I've been testing had in there. It's going to heat up that area pretty good. And since M.2s are just below the graphics card on the motherboard behind a heat, shield heat spread or whatever you want to call it plate um these things can get really hot and uh, i've noticed the 980 it's been coming in a lot better temperatures to actually because of the price point right now too i think i'm just going to buy another 980 pro and then maybe i'll just give this samsung 970 evo away uh, i still got another one too that i wiped in the drawer i can keep one for a backup we'll see but um one of the things is that I mean, the 980, if it's in 4.0, which I won't know until I get a processor like a Rock, Rocket Lake or the next one to get those speeds, um, probably will run hotter anyways at double the speeds, right? One of the things to note that the 970 Evo does still fall within spec. Like I said, I think it's 70C, maybe it's 75C. Um, it's just a little annoying to see their own tool. and It's like, too hot, too hot. You're like, dude. And when I game, if I ever go in here and open this tool up after gaming 20 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever, even if the graphics card's not going full bore like it was just now, it, it always says high or too hot. Um, the, uh, the 980s, it usually might still be normal, not 50C. It's probably 50C because I did do these tests and some stuff. And ran crystal this for a while, and I let it cool down for about 10 minutes. So it, it's had a chance to really heat those things up without them cooling off all the way. But I guess it would give you kind of a worst-case scenario overall. And like I said, my ambient room temperature is 72C. It's probably maybe might be down to 70 here in my office with all the windows, but I don't know. The one thing too is after this test gets done, you gotta kind of refresh it. I mean, 
don't get me wrong, the 970 Evos, they were a really good price for the amount of storage and space and really fast. And I mean, you still have, I think it was a five-year warranty. I want to say three. It's like typical one thing, but I, I think we'll just go with three to five years, which I don't really keep drives three years to tell you the truth. I don't think I've ever kept a drive that long. Well, no, I think I had some uh, Western Digi Digital Velociraptors, four of them in a raid. I think I kept those for quite a while. Um, but you're looking at 10,000 RPMs, four drives, all kinds of temps and heats and wires and a mess. These M.2s are great because it's just, there's no wires, there's no, they're just, you're just right on the motherboard, clean. It's great. I would love them. And they're extremely fast. So, and uh, both these drives, I, I also optimized them before I ran the test. So, which uh, Windows will, even if you've got don't optimize the drives set, it will still optimize your C drive, even if you have it turned off for some reason. But whatever. And the, uh, the backup drive, I go in and check it. Every now and then it'll say like it needs to be optimized. One of the things I also talk about too is um, over provisioning. I would over provision at least the 10% the they recommend. It's about the perfect range. I think they figured that out. I mean, I've tried with the drives before, not these particular drives, and um, tried over provisioning more and less. and it, Less does seem to make things worse and it throttles down. Um, the way it writes to the blocks, um, having a lot more empty blocks since it has to erase a full block to write to a, rope, a full block, having that over provisioning helps with the speed. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at driver information. See, so you know, it's almost at 10C. So that, that's something to consider when you're looking at it, especially right now, it's only $20 difference, but um, the Pro also is gonna give you, let's see, the, the speeds. So this Pro right here over the Evo is gonna give you, when you can go 4.0, is gonna give you double the speeds pretty much. And um, what am I looking back? You do have the option to encrypt the drive where, it takes a while for it to grab it. The Evo before wasn't giving me the option. But it is now. That's all right. It's good to know, right? I wonder why it's giving me the option now and it didn't give me the option before. And what am I clicking OK to? No, I don't want to secure erase nothing. There's a real problem with this part right here to where it's just so delayed. Let's take a look, see if they've cooled down a little bit. Both of them about 2C, about the same. So yeah, I mean, overall, I would say, I mean, if you're using your rig for gaming and everyday use, you're fine at everyday use. Your temps aren't gonna be too bad on here. I notice when you do write a large amount of data, it, it'll be similar to this. I think I've seen the, the uh, Samsung 970s go up as high as maybe 61 or 63C. But like I said, it's still within range of what they consider safe so but yeah that's about it I'm trying to think if there was something else when I, I shot the first video I was going to mention and cover but I pretty much just want to cover that the price points were there uh, what you're looking at as far as the 980 as far as temps over the 970 and your, your performance and I mean when this thing says high or too high it will throttle so that's another thing too, you will lose speed. So if you're getting cooler temps here by nine Celsius, 
Um, this probably is going to end up being quite a bit faster overall, to tell you the truth. All right, that's it, man.